Hey, we're here today to talk about what to expect when you take delivery of your new Artsways um, nerf spreader um, that does have the Raven Isobus product control on it. Uh, initially here, we just kind of want to go over some of the basic uh, connection points uh, on the spreader. So the spreader will come from the factory fully calibrated. Um, there's a couple different options that we'll touch on later. Um, with the box only option with the uh, rate controller already installed, you'll have your hitch harness that plugs into the back of the IBIC connection on the tractor if your tractor is equipped and ISO compatible. Um, we'll work back to a few other connection points on the spreader just as kind of a general overview so you guys know no locations and things like that. You'll see the PWM connection resides up here under this uh, black cover on the front of the box. Uh, this two pin Deutsch connector here. You'll also notice that we have our Gen 1 ISO bus connections here at the front, uh, which tie into your IBIC hitch cable um, that bring power and can back to the ECU, which is mounted on the back side of this uh, center sill plate. Coming over to this side, you'll notice the, the rate control module resides right here. Uh, we do require a level three ECU for the litter, uh, litter manure dry platforms. Um, you also have your scale interface up here, uh, which connects to the RCM product cable in this location. There is a RPM shaft sensor that runs down underneath the bed uh, that mounts to the back of the front um, horizontal tube that is used to pick up uh, shaft sensor rotation uh, so we can monitor RPMs. There is a way to assign that to the product as well so we can use it as kind of a safety catch so that it does it won't run the bed uh, if we do not detect rotation. We'll kind of cover that a little bit later in the setup portion. So another thing we want to touch on here too, just so you guys have some clarity on, uh, is where the encoder is located as well as the gate height sensor. Uh, so on the back right side of the spreader, you'll notice there's this three pin weather pack connection, which runs to the encoder that is embedded in the Eaton motor. Um, that's what gives us our, our feedback for our rate controller. Um, we've also recently added in gate height monitoring. So this cylinder here has a, an internal uh, transducer in it that allows us to measure lifetime uh, gate height. Um, the connection point is back here. Um, just so you're aware, uh, we'll cover how to calibrate and, and utilize that feature uh, in a later video. All right, we'd like to touch on a few of the different cable options that you may encounter uh, once you get the box, depending on what kind of tractor uh, this box is going to be tied to. Um, whether it's new enough that it's got ISO capabilities already um, with the IBIC on the back of the tractor or not, or if we need to look at adding uh, a standalone ISO bus system to it. So as we kind of touched on earlier, the box will come with the IBIC connection cable already installed. So you can simply plug this into your tractor uh, as soon as it arrives and uh, populate the object pool from the Raven rate controller onto almost any third party UT uh, in the cab. So John Deere, Trimble, anything like that. Um, we do have a list of certified third party uh, UTs that we can provide to to give a little clarity on the variations. Um, so this guy will plug directly into the back of the tractor. And then this guy here will be our, our master switch uh, connection. Uh, which we'll kind of cover here in a little bit. If we get into a scenario where the tractor is not ISO compatible, does not have the IBIC on the back of the tractor, uh, you can order an additional control kit uh, that comes with a standalone ISO bus cable, uh, as well as a display, and then a GPS source. Um, this cable here is what we consider our standalone ISO bus harness. Uh, it has the IBIC connector, which you would mount on the back of the tractor. We've got high current power lugs that would run directly to the battery of the tractor. We've got our ignition switch 
connection. Uh, can connect up to any three pin convenience port in the cab or any ignition switch device or uh, connection point, I guess. Um, what this does is fires the relay on the cable to actually provide high current power back to our IBIC connector. Then we've got our display connection that is also built in. Moving down to the display that would come in in play on a machine that does not have one in the cab already. Um, this is our CR7 display. Uh, it will come with UT and task controller unlocked. This 092 cable will also come in that kit. This is what we use to tie the CR7 into the standalone ISO cable. Uh, it connects up in the back here. The one note I want to make on this smaller connector, if we are utilizing the Raven GPS solution, we actually power the display via the cable that also powers the antenna. So in this event, we take our 373 cable coming down from our, our GPS source, and that will go into the bo bottom plug on the CR7. The small plug on the 092 cable will remain unused in that scenario, but we still do utilize this larger plug at the top here. One other thing to touch on, uh, if you do want to utilize just a CR7 display in the cab, um, even though there may be a third party UT in there already, this 092 cable is equipped to plug into a deer A post um, without the use of this harness here. Uh, so you can directly plug into the back of the CR7 and then plug into the back of, the, uh, of a John Deere A post, for example. Um, we do have a variety of other uh, cable, cables like this uh, for the, the red, the yellow, um, and blue tractors out there uh, that would forego the use of this cable if, if you do want to utilize a Raven field computer in the cab. So, One other thing I want to touch on here is our master switch options. Uh, we do require a master switch input before we will allow product application. Uh, what we have here is just a simple foot switch. Um, the foot switch will reside in the cab, obviously. It'll also come with this foot switch extension cable. Uh, simply plug the foot switch into the foot switch extension cable and then you'll connect this at the back of the tractor by your IBIC connection point. We'll touch on kind of the, the master switch functionality and how that plays back into the ECU um, in a later video.